this Bible college, we name it Godly Karen Baptist Bible School and College. This Bible school has started in 1983 with four teachers and six students in Korean State, Burma. We started our school and so many leaders feel excited to build up to establish this Bible school for the nation. We established this Bible school to provide proper theological education for the Korean people. So every year, the numbers of the students are increasing and also the faculty. We have more faculties and staff. They try to devote their life for their people, especially for the young people. There are so many young people who are graduated from this Mela refugee camp. Not only Mela refugee camp from Meramo, Melau, Banduya, Tamehe camp, and Nopo, Upyang. As I have mentioned, we have several refugee camps, plus with the Karini, Cap 1 and Cap 2, different young people who are coming from different refugee camps. So they come here, they want to pursue the high education. So we have the visitors, visiting professors from all over the world. They come and they teach here as a volunteer. This year we have 482 students. So this morning as you come and you see our staff and faculty, all of us we are graduated from this Bible school. And after that, we go out and we find our way to get a proper education from other country. And when they come back, they serve. They wholeheartedly devoted their life. Even though we live in a refugee camp, but we're trying to provide a better and proper theological education for the Korean people. We don't want to see our young people this thing to spend their life or their time meaninglessly. We don't want to see our young people to engage or deal with the dirty business here and there. We don't want to see our young people to be, become a alcoholic and drug cause and a drug addiction here and there. As far as we can, we want to reorganize or reunite our young people in the refugee camp. Because we have a dream, we have a hope, we have a vision, we still have a zeal. One day we will go back to our land, we will rebuild, renew, restore our country. So we need a lot of young people to come up with a proper education to get high education. They will become educated leaders to lead the people generation to generation. We want to live with high integrity, identity, dignity as the nation.